So guys, uh, now we solve exercise 49 of section uh, 5.6 and uh, here we need to find the total area of the shared region regions. Yeah. Uh, here you see we have the function y is equal to x root of uh, 4 minus x square. And uh, you see here we have symmetric function, yeah. And then we need to find area of this one and the uh, area of this one and then we need to add them, yeah. And then you see here we have from minus 2 up to 2. And uh, so I just write here, you see here, in integral from minus 2 up to 2 x root of 4 minus x squared dx. If you find this integral, guys, uh, in general, you will get zero. Uh, you can check it, guys. But if you want to find area, guys, uh, if you want to find area, guys, you need to do the following, guys. You need to find area, of, firstly, of this one, of this part. And uh, secondly, you need to find area of this part. So when you find integral of this part, you need to put uh, in front of integral minus and uh, uh, here you need to put in uh, integral uh, in front of integral plus so I mean the following minus integral from minus 2 up to 0 uh, x root of 4 minus x square uh, dx plus integral from 0 up to minus 2 x root of 4 minus x square in general guys this, as i said this one is zero but when you find area guys you need to do this thing okay here what we have guys uh, i use here um, substitution method and i will write here u is equal to 4 minus x square and the du is equal to minus 2x dx and the, since I don't have here 2 and the, it means that I just here I just have here x and the dx and I will write x dx as minus 1 over 2 du okay and I will change here let me write here I have what minus ah I forgot about this one yeah I, this is my g of x and I need to put uh, my uh, if I put g of minus 2, I get uh, 0. If I put uh, g of 0, I get uh, 4. And if I put uh, for this case, here should be plus. Yeah? Uh, for this case, if I put here 2, I get 0. So it means that what? For this integral, I have the following. Instead of minus 2, I need to put g of minus 2. It is 0. Uh, here, what I need to put, I need to put this one, g of 0, it is 4, and uh, instead of x, dx, I will write uh, minus 1 over du, uh, so here, minus 1 over 2, and the uh, root of um, 4 minus x squared is equal to u, therefore I will write here u, and the uh, du. This is my first part of integral. Second part, uh, here what I do, I use the same uh, substitution method, therefore I will write here, uh, in, if I put instead of g 0, I get 4, if I put instead of x in, in the function g, I, uh, if I put 2, I get 0, therefore I will write here 0, and uh, x uh, dx, as you see, uh, is my minus uh, 1 over 2 uh, root of uh, u uh, d u okay so and I need to find integral of this function so since I have here coefficients guys what I can do I if I take out this one out of integral I have 1 over 2 uh, from uh, integral from 0 up to 4 root of u d u and here guys I have minus 1 over 2 uh, integral from 4 up to 0 uh, root of u du so by using the property of integral I want to change endpoints of my integral if I change my uh, endpoints of my integral uh, then it means that what uh, it means that uh, I change a sign therefore if I change this one I get here plus and the uh, integral will be from 0 up to 4 and uh, I get exactly this thing and uh, it means that 
I just add them, yeah? And then this means that integral from 0 up to 4 uh, root of u du. Okay. This integral will be what, guys? Integral of root of u it will be u of power 3 over 2. And here I have 3 over 2. 2 comes here. And I need to put 0 and the 4. So if I put here 4, uh, what I get? I get uh, 16 over 3. That's all, yeah? Uh, if I put 0, I get 0. Therefore, my integral will be uh, 16 over 3. That's all. So this means that area of this region is equal to 16 over 3. Okay, one more exercise. Let's solve exercise 51. Uh, so guys, why I put here minus sign? Why I have here minus sign? Because uh, if my uh, my function here is a, um, odd function, when you check here, uh, if your function odd function and if you have symmetry, guys, uh, in the case of uh, which is a less uh, when in the case of the when y your less than zero yeah in this kind of uh, cases you need to put in front of your integral minus sign yeah to this part so let's solve for example 51 uh, so let me So we're right here. So we have function f of, uh, sorry, y is equal to 3, uh, 3 uh, sine x root of uh, 1 plus cosine x. So we need to check again if this one is an odd function. So you can see easily, guys, if you, uh, to check what odd function, you need to just put minus x in front of uh, x, yeah, here. If you put here minus x, if you get minus uh, y x uh, this means that your function is odd when you put here minus x you get here cosine minus x is again cosine but uh, sine minus x it will be just minus sine x therefore uh, you have here this one yeah I, when i put minus x to this function i get minus 3 sine x root of 1 plus cosine x and if I define this one again as yx, I have minus yx. This means that my function is odd function. It means that when I find integral, uh, when I found area of this, of this part, when my y is less than uh, 0, uh, in this case, I need to find, I need to put instead of my uh, integral minus sign. So, when since my graph is less than zero guys yeah you see here when i find integral from minus p up to zero i put here just minus sign and then i will write here my, my function sine x root of one plus cosine x and the dx what we have here guys uh, here we get what uh, we have uh, uh, I, I use here again this one, I use this substitution, u is equal to cosine x and du is equal to sine x minus yeah, uh, dx and then minus du is equal to uh, sine x dx. That's all. So it means that what? It means that I put, I change sine x dx by minus du and instead of cosine x uh, so I can just put here 1 plus cosine, yeah? 1 plus cosine. So uh, instead of 1 plus cosine x, I can I just put u. So we have here minus uh, integral minus 3 uh, sine x dx gives me minus du and uh, uh, 1 plus cosine x gives me 1 or root of u du, guys. This one means that what I have here minus uh, here I, I need to put endpoints yeah this is my g of x and the g of uh, minus p is equal to what here 
uh, minus p gives me minus 1 uh, uh, 1 uh, plus cosine minus p it is again cosine p cosine p is equal to 1 minus 1 sorry 1 minus 1 is 0 and uh, g of uh, 0 yeah I put z endpoint to this function I have here uh, cosine 0 is equal to what cosine 0 is equal to um, 1 therefore I have here 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so I'll write here uh, my gra uh, gra uh, integration will be from 0 up to 2 so I have here you see here if I take out minus 3 out of integral uh, I have here 3 integral from 0 up to 2 and the uh, uh, integral of u 1 over 2 du and uh, this gives me uh, this one uh, 3 u uh, here I have uh, 3 over 2 and here I have again 3 and uh, but here I have 2 multiplied by 3 yeah? and I have here 0 and 2 if you this one cancels with this one if I put here 2 I get uh, 2 uh, multiply uh, so third power of 2 is 8 8 so I have this one root of 2 yeah and this gives me 4 root of 2 so it means that uh, area of this uh, 